And welcome everyone to Let's Read Destiny Grimoire Episode 1. So, basically, since the... Um, first of all, since most of the lore in Destiny 1 is in the Grimoire cards, and the fact that Let's Read um, Grimoire Near, funnily enough, another Grimoire, um, was fairly popular compared to the other Near episodes, I think I'm going to do a reading of... The Grimoire here as well. Now, before, if you looked at Grimoire um, near, it was just a picture of Weiss. Um, and I just read it because it didn't have any uh, any pictures in it. However, um, the Grimoire cards, of course, have pictures. And I'm not going to just read from my phone, of course. So, <clears throat> well, I just found this site. I think it was DestinyGrimoire.io. And it should have all the Grimmer cards in it. You can tell it's a morning recording. So I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to read it. This is more so, so you can just, you know, if you just want to hear someone reading the Grimoire, you can just like, I don't know, uh, download the video and I guess play it. Because YouTube you have to keep open, so... I don't know. Anyways. So we have um, the first card, Guardian. Which is connected to classes, races, ghosts, subclasses, melee abilities, grenade abilities, movement modes, and super abilities. So first, the classes. Guardians. Legends are carved across history by the brave. Guardians are warriors, fortune, Trevor's light, a final hope, and a universe falling into darkness. Chosen from the dead by the Traveler's Ghosts, Guardians are the world's rare few able to wield the light as a weapon. For centuries, they have defended the city. That defense cannot hold forever. Now, with the darkness rising again, time has come to retake our lost worlds. The Guardians who lead the way will save humanity and become legend. Titan. Strive for honor. Stand for hope. Titans are warriors, heroic defenders of the light, chanting the gifts of the Traveler to wage to war in the darkness. Steadfast and sure, Titans face any challenge head-on, blunt force instruments of the Traveler's will. Ghost Fragment, Titan. Titan the strap, eh? The guard brace is loose, could slip, huh? It's noose. A Gma Type 1. How's it hold up? I tried using Gma at the gap, remember? Didn't... Well, what's this? A ghost. Yes, light be with you. Excuse me, little ghost. Too much pass me my helmet. Thank you, little... Thank you. Little ghost, what are you doing here? It's just looking around. Where's the guardian? I don't think it has one. Well, your servant in the light is welcome among us. We are Holborn's host, and I'm Holborn. The city's hand and Mars. Tubach. That's Tubach, my second. With the finest signs of the city, now see here, little ghost, on my shoulder. That's the mark of Holborn's host. Record it. Twelve pointed star. One for each of the. Oh, well, off it goes. It doesn't look well. We should get moving. A ghost of the garden. I remember when I was risen, you know. Um. When I woke in that wreckage, I had to see my ghost hovering there, it's light in my eyes like an angel, and it said, This story again, disrespectful youngster. Youngster, I could be older than you, Tiborn. True. The guard brace is fine now, stop worrying at it. Will you take the Jikoku? Uh, I thought I'd take the long move, for Bale is a Jikoku. Good. That ghost, what do you think's wrong with it? It's echoing something ancient. Old Earth language. You know what that ghost reminds me of, flitting around o over there? I don't. Time ghosts from Jaggy Souls came back without them, remember? They got in that fight at some point east of the Caspian. Seven ghosts, damn near silent, buzzing with some sort of corruption, drifting back to the tower one by one, scared the speakers well enough. I remember a long time ago, Jaggy tells the story differently. Well, we all grow old in our way. Little ghost, come back here. It's not going to make it wherever it's going. I want to talk to it, little ghost. Lisa and Bale are probably there already. Come on, move slowly, we've got time. Warwick's have had a vision. Yes, a new one. What's her name? Ingora? Ikora. She's always been hasty. I've faced these cabal before. I don't like I know my own armor. Message from my set, the dust palace now, all quiet. See, all quiet. Why not come with us, little ghost? Looking for the old war mind here and the one who guards it. Hunter. Our old worlds have grown feral. Rabid beasts with teeth of rust and ruin. But such creatures are meant to be tamed. Or broken. Hunters stalk the wilderness beyond the city, harnessing the light to reclaim the secrets of our lost worlds. They are daring scouts and stealthy killers, expert with knives and precision weapons. Hunters blaze their own trails and write their own laws. Ghost Fragment Hunter She leaves a sparrow and climbs a long way across the spars of volcanic rock. 
between vents of blue fire. Down below the Ishar ruins spark with skirmish light, but the guns seem as distant and brief as a constant starfall in the brooding crater high above. She's alone in the rock. She goes on with her head down so as to fight the sense that she's going to fall up off the world and burn like an inverse meteor. The message that uh, brought her to this place had no sign, but she could hear Kate in it. Drax is in the cinders, it said. Is it true? And also, remember your promise. At dawn, she finds a sentry and kills it with a knife. Its throat bleeds gas. She takes its post and lays out her bullets one by one on the rock as if to make a count of all the years she's been waiting. Her rifle is nearly as long as she is tall. She lies down by her bullets, using them to kill other sentries, one by one until at last they understand the thunder and the shanks rise up angry from the cinders below to seek her out. She uses a rifle and walks across the naked obsidian into the swarm, firing from the hip as she goes, each kick of the old revolver a word, Draxus, Draxus, kill of winter, kill of hate, lord of the kingdom of her vendetta. Her jaw aches, she used to imagine biting out his throat with her armored teeth. The stone smokes around her where the arc fire lashes it. Shepard gun throws up leaves of obsidian like glass butterflies. She shoots her bandoliers dry, and a team of vandals and glassy stealthily leap up to rush her with knives, but she raises her hand and burns them down with a golden gun, laughing, crying out, Traxus, Traxus, I come, I am come. She kills them all and takes the next ridge high above the cinders. She can see the blue-green pools in the cave mouths where the Vex lights dance. And there among them, gowned in smoke and ash, is a long shark shape of a catch, a winter ship. The kills ship, come down to nest. She could go down there now and finish this, but she made a promise. Captain jumps her, she throws two knives in his armor, and then stays his chest in with her own ghost, wrapped in her fists like a stone. Tell the vanguard, she says. And with her sped her fist, tell them Draxus is here. Ghost looks up at her in silence when she makes no move to go down the cliff towards the ship, blinks once in its own way, and makes a soft sound like a sigh, like a relief. Warlock, yay, it's us. We found new ways to weaponize curiosity, pathways into the darkness. Warriors, scholars of the light, warlocks devote themselves to understanding the traveler and its power. Warlock's mind is an arsenal of deadly secrets balanced between godhood and madness. The battlefield, those secrets can shatter reality itself. Ghost Fragment Warlock. Why did I set her on the trail? You try and try and try to explain, but no one ever understands, and no one who's not a warlock. I have spent a dozen years scouring the ruins for one string of symbols, one clean code, one black talon. Things just make a humphing noise if they stay to work. Hunters clean their nails with their knives and look at you like if you're on a third eye. When you spend your life searching through Arcana for ancient power, you have to urge. You have the urge to reach out and educate others, especially if you had one too many. Nah, she's not my type at all. We played dice, cards, war games, you know, the usual stuff. I never tried to show up before. I don't know what came over me. I had a broken vertebrae in my pocket that I borrowed from. Yes, borrow. I was going to put it back. What do you think you are, my conscience? It was a fossil. That means mineral replacement. A rock, basically. It was about a few hours in my pocket. Do shut up. Skipped us weren't going to miss it. Everyone knows that the Amakaras were under extinction. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Think of how mysterious this system is, I said. How much life sprang up when the Traveler came, like... Uh, the Amakara, do you know the legends? The dragon that made promises? And I pulled out the fossil with a flourish. She pulled out her knife and started to pick the dirt from her nails. That set me off. You could, uh, you could never have brought down one of these, I said. Never. Ever. Not the greatest hunter, not the brawniest sign. Her eyes narrowed. She said, oh, is that so? And I saw right then. She wasn't going to pass on the challenge. I murdered her guardian. I thought, she's going to die. It'll be my fault. I looked at the piece of my spine in my hand and wondered, why did I say that? What moved me to such pride? Ghost Fragment, Warlock 2. Yeah, we get two. My name is Ariane Three, disciple of the Praxic Warlocks, marked by the Cumorant Seal. We came here under one banner, under uniting a host of thousands to claim the moon. That uh, goes against us. I have taken a prisoner. This is the record of its interrogation. If I transgress in your eyes, I ask for your forgiveness. Sound of current or discharge? Ariana, it responds to pain. Responds to light. Heard it again. Monster, heed me. Who is your master with the sword? Static meant. I can hear it in my head. The sword bearer's name is Crota. Record that. Should I burn it again? No. I think you're only feeding it. it will, I will touch its mind. Ghost, help. They call you a wizard. You must be ancient. I think you value power very much. Will you still be powerful without this piece of your mind? 
Tell me how to kill Crota, static event. It showed me the battle, it showed me a waning dead on Crota's blade, it showed me how Crota killed the guardian, the screaming knife hammered out of his own ghost. Now I'll take a piece of his mind and ask again, tell me how to kill Crota. Second event, incredible, where? Where is this throne? Where is this twilight world under the dead-eyed star? Ariana, there's word from the company in Mare Embrium, Crota's upon them, half a hundred dead, they need us. Tell me where, tell me how, tell me! Static event, Ariane, what did it say? Show me how it did this, it just exactly this, soon a Mokan man. I was arranged by its will, like little silver ships, like ghosts. Laughed at me, it said we were the same. Could have marches with a thousand knights, and they say the sky above Mare Embrium turned to green fire. They are dying in numbers I cannot bear to repeat. Kill them one by one with a sword that eats their light. Ariane, we have to do something. Kill the wizards, scatter the ash, it has nothing but lies to offer. Get your sparrows, we have light and fury, that will be enough. Races. Humans. Um, this was our world, our solar system. We were here first, and no matter what the darkness brings, we will be here at the dawn. Humans are survivors, tough and resilient, sent from those who built a golden age only to see it ripped away. Now, after an age of retreat and desperate struggle, fight to take back their solar system and claim a new future. There are those who believe the traveler chose Earth for a reason. Now it is humanity's obligation to prove itself worthy of the traveler's faith. Yes, we're human. The diaries of Commander Jacob Hardy, pilot Ares 1. Mission is a go crew of three Mihalova, Kiao, myself, and me. Departure at the next Hornman window to Mars at Emery's and return ships will chase us out. How do I feel? Uh, meals ready to eat, what? I said at the press conference I felt privileged. Historians will read this diary, but don't take their insight to tell the world that I'm terrified. It's a human reaction. What I wish you could convey is the, the exhilaration. That's the biggest thing. I'm not a spiritual man, but I've always believed that there's something transcendent about spaceflight. Something pure. We go out there because we can, because it's who we are. Now we go because we have to, because the unknown came to us. In 14 months, we'll be face to, forced to, fa we'll be face, to face with it. And by the time we arrive, it should be active again, just like it was active on Jupiter and Mercury and Venus. I wonder what happens if it doesn't stop at Mars. I wonder if it will leave us there in the sand, come to Earth and do what it's done everywhere else. I hate that we're carrying weapons. I understand the necessity, but I ultimately belief there's something beautiful out there. It's up to us to reach it. Ghost Fragment Humans 2. Now is a commander Jacob Hardy, pilot Ares 1. Everyone asks about the words. The truth is I'm not much of a poet. This one didn't leave us with bandwidth for anything except blunt competence. Came perilously hot, trying to select a landing site through the chaos of thickening atmosphere and turbulence that bloomed off the target. 20 minute round trip light speed delay to Earth meant we could only count on ourselves. When the number 3 engine went diagnostic during the second course correction, I thought we might go catastrophic. Mikhail brought us in, Mihailova brought us in, I just flew the ship. There was one excursion vehicle was built for thin winds and icy dust. We came down into a storm, the breath of a god, a ripple of change rolling down off the artifact. Bore on three sites, and finally I took us into powered hovered, brought us down reflexes and instincts. But then we ran the checklist, suited up, and left the vehicle. And there was a script, and it's true, I botched it. I got my boots down, and I made the most famous gaffed in human history. So the first thing that came to mind and warned to others were walking to a rising wind. I mean to say anything immortal, I just thought it'd be useful to know. So in Human 3, from the Nires of Commander Jacob Hardy, Pilot Ares 1. The hike from Ares 1, you've watched it, everyone through was recorded. I think you can get in full immersion now and fly around like a hummingbird. I'll add what I can. Alright, what was planned, we all went together to the CEV and the Ares 1 itself had enough automation to go home alone in the event of crew loss. Whatever we find out that not affect any of the human element. We carried rifles, they made us heavier, slower, and probably less face safe. The you know, argument about the rifles can be left alone for another time. What's important is, it turned out well. Look at me, look at us. Talking to a 90-year-old man, a 90-year-old who's never been sharper and miles out of every cognitive benchmark. What's happened to me is good. What's happened to all of us is good. When you crested the rise and made visual contact with Artifact, I don't think any one of us dared to dream that it wouldn't end this well. We went to Mars as the cutting edge of human civilization, it wasn't our weapons that won the day. It was our ship, our training, our camaraderie, our belief that uh, if we just reached out to the universe, not to grasp for profit or security, with an open hand we would be elevated. We were right. It makes me so happy to this day. Ghost Fragment Human 4, from the Diaries of Commander Jacob Hardy, Pilot Ares 1. Three human beings stood on a high ridge and saw the shape of the future, saw rain struck a millennial desert, felt they are sweetened with oxygen and warm water in the beginnings of life. I am sometimes asked if I felt something die, the end of their human self-sufficiency. 
I don't know how to answer that question. I do know that I was changed. Nobody could experience that kind of wonder and remain unchanged. I could sense of proving that to me. I knew I'd never fly another mission like that. I recognize the need for new love. That's why I threw my fresh cognitive skills into understanding the Traveler. How can one entity so quickly and utterly remake an entire world? Fifty years later, I'm conversant in high mathematics, particularly topological thoughts, and the slippery irreality of light. I'm mean, involved in a project to study Traveler's um, terraforming actions right now, but I still enjoy the interview. I still I like going back to the mission. Seems particularly happy to see how well it all turned out, and it makes me happy to remember I was there. Awoken. <clears throat> Let's sing this song of light and dark. We together transcended such unimaginative limitations. And it said that the Awoken were born in the collapse, descended from those who tried to flee its wrath. Something happened to them out on the edge of the deep black, and they were forever changed. They many Awokens live in the distant reef, aloof and mysterious, but others return to Earth, Earth, where their descendants now fight for the city. Earthborn Awoken who ventured to the reef, only to learn secret, find no special welcome from the reclusive queen. Ghost Fragment, Awoken, reports from the derelict Vested board in the first known voyage to the reef. 1100 meter length, active gravity, generation, residual heat, fast neutron scatter, design code, corrupted. Date of commissioning, unknown, origin born unknown, presumed to have collided and merged with one kilometer common assessment based on depths of hydrocarbon crust covering their home. Or content of soil, atmosphere of oxygen, carbon dioxide, with isotopic ratios placed in common in the ore population. Low light foliage um, grown for terrestrial stocks, mirrors focusing starlight into growth, um, chambers visit resident fauna, five and six species plus rats descended from uncertain ancestors, surface heavily wooded until recently, unknown event triggering firestorm, a percent of world forest consumed atmosphere laced with smoke and particulates, free oxygen in sort supply, no stress calls known, no evidence of crew or passengers on exterior. Interior scans inconclusive, clear to attempt approach. Why the space? Uh, Ghost Fragment Awoken 2. It was nothingness. If I existed um, before, I existed as a possibility as potential stretched thin across the ether. And maybe there was a body that looked like my body, complete with a soul that could be confused for someone rather like me. What I am now is not yet real, and when I was born and the universe was free to begin, others are present at my birth. The great ceremony had just begun, because the newborns are selfish beasts, assumed I was object of attention. I didn't notice the singing until the singers fell silent, and then she appeared. She was above me, ethereal and handsome and elegant. I assumed my face was like her face, and the odd idea gave me strength enough to smile. Secrets, she said. Creation is built on secrets and the encryptions that keep the secrets safe. I made my first sound, I meant nothing, but she understood as a question. We are beautiful creations, she said, and we must keep ourselves very safe. Exo, ask yourself, what threat in your golden age answers so much as the construct of the Exo to defend themselves? Built for a long run struggle, Exos are self-aware and war machines so advanced that things short of a ghost can understand their inner functions. They remain ciphers even to themselves, their origins and purposes lost to time. Whoever built the Exos fashioned them in humanity's engine image. Given them with the diversity of mind and body, many of the city's exo-citizens live and work alongside their organic brethren. And let's fight again, reforge in the light of the traveler to serve as guardians. Those who I mean exo. <laughs> Which in the end is just a matter of substrate chauvinism. It doesn't matter if the system thinks we're flash or superconductor or topological braids and doped metallic hydrogen. As long as the logic is the same and our logic is the same, yours and mine. If I am a machine, then so are you. If you are not a machine, then either I am. Exo minds are human and it is incontrovertible. You understand? I'm going to take that such a stairs understanding. Here's a real question. Why are the exo minds human? What's the design imperative? Why does a war machine? Yes, absolutely. I am a war machine built by human hands. You survive a machine built by the engine of evolution. Don't interrupt me. Why does a war machine have emotions? Why should a war machine have awareness? These are not useful traits in the battlefield. Don't flatter yourself. They are not useful. So why should the XO mind mimic the human architecture so closely? You know, I smell you. I smell the stink of anthropocentrism. I think you think there is only one way to think. That's why XO mind is so human, you presume. Because all our thought converges. Probably, my friend, you should meet the Vex. There's nothing human in them. Now, this is what I believe happened back in the time before any Exo can remember. It explains everything. I think someone wanted to live forever. I think possibly because human minds are less likely to, you know, um, fight against humanity. You know, the whole AI th crisis thing. Anyways, we're not here for theories. 
Ghostfragment X02, hi, thanks for your interest, I'm recording this for posterity. Lex and Anna Stein come back with insight, I'm going to attempt the same process to get at bar buried memories. Today I'm going to fire a charge particle beam into my head and see what comes out. Because I've been around for a very long time, I want to know what's in there. Standing by to repair me, okay, 2, 3, 1, Stag, Echo 6, Sword, Sierra 9, Serpent. We are falling to the world, everyone is on fire. They ship above us, but it's coming apart just like a flower, alloy and fusion flash, pierced through and through. Voices atmospheric into first trajectory normal, rabbit two, three. You are outside the window, I think I'm the voice. I can see the whole earth below me. In the sky we are falling out of is black without stars. Ghost, shoot me again. Rapid four, rampant four, ratchet tango eight zero. We are on the ice, this is elsewhere and elsewhen. It's a mighty aurora and is reflected in the ice, so I walk between two fires, although the one below is cracked and full of corpses. I have and I am a weapon. In the sky there is a hole in Jupiter and it tears at me when I look at it. It tears at me. It is hungry. Maybe the holes are not in Jupiter but in me. Crown Castle, Candor, Cobalt, Coral, Ghost Bring Me Back. Surret, Sulfur, Anathem, Amber, Actual, Aspen, Ghost Bring Me Back Now. Ghosts. Uh oh. Ghosts. Um... <clears throat> In its dying breath, the Trevor created the ghost to seek out those who can wield its light as a weapon. Guardians protect us and do with the Traveler itself no longer what ghost ghost I guess. Um, um do with the Traveler itself no longer can. Actually, now that I think about it, when I said at the beginning, oh I'm not gonna read my phone, I don't think you can actually get the Grimoire in Destiny 2 app anymore. Anyways. I'm built for machinery in the Traveler's Light. Ghosts guide their companions, uh, guardian companions in the quest to reclaim our solar system. If you go see that as a guardian among the ancient dead, the ghost serves as a scout, librarian, mechanic, walking, uh, awaking, uh, ancient machinery, and cracking alien cones. The situation that a ghost can even save a guardian from death. Ghosts are not immortal. As far as guardians know, every loss is irreplaceable. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode, though. So, I hope you enjoy this reading. So, I don't know, if you want me to, because I've been thinking, since I've done that Pokemon card thing, there was another thing, like there are three branches that I sort of want to do, Pokemon card slash general cards in general, I guess I could do Yu-Gi-Oh, all those, um, uh, video games, oh, actually it's four, um, cooking, and then, um, let's reads of like creepypastas and the like. I don't know. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode, though, so if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. See ya!